Hello everybody, my name is Jordan Cox for Sensei and here are my top three tips for saving money in Target, Walmart and Costco. Tip number one is to download each of their mobile apps. Each supermarket has a really great mobile app so you can use to save money. Target have an app called Cartwheel which allows you to choose which discounts you want on which items. And once you scan your barcode at the till, you get the money off. And a clever trick of this, you combine this with in-store coupons as well, so you can save even more. Walmart have an app called Savings Catcher, and you can use this every single time you shop at Walmart. Simply scan in your receipt to the app, and it will tell you if your items that you bought at Walmart were cheaper elsewhere. And if they were, then you get the money back as an e-gift card, which you can use the next time you shop at Walmart. And finally, Costco's mobile app, Costco Mobile, has all of the online coupons that you can use on your mobile. So that means you don't have to be fumbling around with paper coupons when you get to this hill. Simply show them on the warehouse coupon section and you'll save money. Tip number two is to search for coupons on all of the sites before you go shopping. Each supermarket has their own dedicated coupon section of their website, so if you search through there, you'll find coupons that you can save on your supermarket shop. On Target's website, they have over $500 worth of coupons, which you can print off right now. You can use a handy search feature, you can browse by category, and you can just click and print the ones that you want to use. Walmart's coupon section has over $500 worth of coupons as well. You can browse by category and select whatever you want to save on your supermarket shop. And finally, Costco have their own warehouse coupons as well. If you're ever going into bulk buy things, they have coupons which will get you money off specific items. And finally, tip number three is to get inside the supermarket's heads. By looking at the pricing, you'll be able to work out whether something on clearance might be reduced again. At Target, if a price ends in eight cents, then that means it's its first point of reduction. And if an item ends in four cents, that means it's the final reduction price. So anything else could be reduced even more. At Walmart, items ending in five cents means it's its first point of reduction. And items ending in one cent means it's its final reduction price. So any other cent at the end of the price means it could be reduced further. And finally at Costco, anything ending in seven cents means it's reduced for clearance. And another sneaky tip at Costco, if you ever see an asterisk or a star at the end of the price tag, that means it will not be restocked. So if it's a good deal, you might want to stock up. So those are my top three tips for saving money in Target, Walmart and Costco. I hope those save you money. I've been Jordan Cox for Sensei and I hope to see you saving money in the future.